Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we're continuing here in Temple Patrick. And where we are is we're inside the grounds here of St. Patrick's Church in Temple, Temple Patrick. And the church here was consecrated in 1827 as St. John's Church. But it was re-consecrated re in 1886 as St. Patrick's. And I want to show you the grave of a Presbyterian elder who's buried here. And also the rector of the church who he was a rector here for 29 years of the parish church. But there's also a wee bit of information on the temples inside the church. Now, I can't get inside, but when I put my phone up to the window, I could see some information. So I hope to be able to show you that. And of course, there's also, uh, supposedly anyway, a connection here with one of the uh, the monks, or the, the order of uh, the Hospitaller monks. And of course, they were warrior monks. And uh, so there's, supposedly anyway, a connection with Temple Patrick and that order. And I want to show you a couple of trees as well. My battery's low, I hope it lasts. But uh, a few things to get crammed into this video. So I hope the battery lasts. But this tree here, as you can see, you can see the beautiful flowers. And it says, this tree was planted in honour of and an appreciation of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on the occasion of her Platinum Jubilee, 5th of June 2022. So there you go. Um, the first grave I want to show you is this pillar here. As you can see, and it says here, in memory of Alexander Hutchison, Palatine, who died 18th of July, 1895, aged 83 years. It says he was an elder in the Presbyterian Church of Temple Patrick, a consistent advocate of total abstinence and devoted friend of Sabbath schools or Sunday schools, in other words. His friends have erected this monument to mark their appreciation of his worth. And it says there, to me to live is Christ, which of course is a text from the book of Philippians. So I'm going to show you the minister's grave. Some of it's very hard to make out, but you can make out some of it as well. So we will read what we can and perhaps you'll be able to see on the video more than I can see with the naked eye. And it's this grave here. As you can see, a bit dilapidated. And the ivy's growing up. But we'll read what we can. And it says here, something Christopher Chichester, sorry. Something Chichester McCartney. And for 29 years, he was the rector of this parish. Says something about Belfast. And then it says, deeply regretted. And 1843, so I'm assuming that's when he died. In 1843. But that's the rector McCartney. Minister McCartney. And uh, of course, the Reverend McCartney was over this church here. He was the rector here of St. Patrick's. Of course, it would have been St. John's in his day because it wasn't changed until it wasn't uh, changed until 1886 you can see it used to be a window and a doorway there but not anymore So I'm going to let you see through this window because this is where the board is. Hopefully you'll be able to read this. Hopefully I will too. That looks pretty good. And I can't read it from here, but certainly 
when I watch the video, I'll have a read of it because it does mention the Templetons. So there you go. I will be able to actually zoom in closer on that when I'm watching it in the video. So there you go. So that's the St. Patrick's Church, originally St. John's Church, but now St. Patrick's. So thanks for watching and God bless.